Android has a number of special boot modes built into the operating system. Many people never even know about these modes since you can only access them in very specific ways. I have the Samsung Galaxy A13 here and today I'll be showing you how to boot the entire Galaxy A series into what is commonly referred to as download mode. Some people also refer to this as Odin mode. Since we use a program called Odin to interact with a device when it is in this special mode. And in order to access this special boot mode, we will need a computer to do this. But it's possible that this can be done with something like a pair of headphones as well. The goal is to plug a cable into the USB-C port here at the bottom of the device. So once you have a cable ready, we're going to power off the Galaxy A13 using the power menu. After you feel the phone vibrate and after the screen goes black, it's best to wait a few seconds for the device to completely power down. Then when you're ready, we're going to be pressing and holding both the volume up and the volume down buttons on the side of the phone. And with these two buttons pressed together, we're then going to continue holding those two buttons and insert that USB cable into the device. You can see it's going to boot us to this blue screen. This is a splash screen only. This is not download mode. You can see we have to press the volume up button to continue and that's going to get us into download mode. Once we have done that, you're going to see a screen, a blue screen with the down arrow like that. And that means that you have booted the device into download mode, AKA Odin mode. At this time, we would normally open up the program that I mentioned before called Odin. We would then load in our firmware files and then flash them to the smartphone through the USB cable that we used. Now I won't be showing you any of that today, but you can look forward to those videos in more detail here on my channel in the future. You can also access download mode on the Galaxy A series by first booting into recovery mode and then using that menu to boot over into the bootloader. And that will boot you into download mode as well. I do need to point out that if you are booting into download mode to unlock the bootloader, you will need to use the USB cable method instead of the recovery mode method. Since you will only get the option to unlock the bootloader if you use that USB cable. Now, when you are ready, we can exit download mode on the Galaxy A13 and the entire Galaxy A series, including the Galaxy A33, the Galaxy A53, and the Galaxy A73. We can boot out of download mode by following the instructions on the screen. So right here, it says to use the volume down and the side key for more than seven seconds to restart the phone. And we're gonna do this even though the screen says, do not turn off the device. The only reason that you should not force the device to restart is if you are in the middle of transferring firmware files from Odin. If you have not used Odin to send any files to the device, then you are safe to force the device to reboot. So again, just like it says on screen, we're gonna press the side key, AKA the power button and the volume down button. And we're gonna hold those two buttons down until you see the screen go black like that. 
that's going to force the Galaxy A13 to reboot. And it should boot up just like normal back into Android. The amount of time it takes to reboot is going to be like normal. We have not done a factory data reset. So we're just going to get the normal boot animation sequence. And you can see that boots the Galaxy A series smartphone back into Android where we can use it like normal. So with these instructions you saw in this video, you can now boot the Galaxy A13, the Galaxy A33, the Galaxy A53, and the Galaxy A73 both into download mode as well as how to exit download mode.